What if I told you that a Nintendo Switch came out on March 3rd, 2017? Like, would you believe me? That's seven years and four months ago. That's almost as old as the Xbox 360, which lasted eight years to the day when the Xbox One released. So in reality, it's really not that crazy that the Switch is seven and a half years old. It's just that it might be chugging along. Kind of, kind of the worst out of all the older consoles, but we'll get more into that later into the video. So you want a Nintendo Switch in 2024. You've been seeing everyone play their Switch, playing all the good games, playing on the couch, playing in the bed, playing on the road. Shit, they're even playing on the TV. And you still see people playing this thing seven years later. That's gonna be a main point of this video, seven years later. And that's all true. This machine is an absolute unit. And honestly, if you've never bought in the Switch before, there's tons of great games for it. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Pikmin 4, Animal Crossing, New Horizon, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Those are literally four bangers right there. And honestly, that's barely scratching the surface. You don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes. But when it comes down to you wanting a Nintendo Switch, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Are you mostly gonna be playing this on the road, in your house? Ask yourself, do you travel a lot? Or are you mostly gonna be using like the docking capabilities to play on the TV, play on the couch? And the reason I'm asking this is because there's multiple variations of the Nintendo Switch. First, there's the OG model, which most people probably have. This is the one that came out in 2017. It may have gotten a few revisions, but it's basically the same thing. And honestly, I would recommend that most people buy this version of it. It's the one that fits most folks' situation. You can dock this one, you can go ahead and play it on the road. When you play on TV, it's 1080p. When you play on the go, it's 720p. But next, we have the Nintendo Switch Lite, which maybe this is the one you need because you don't even have a TV. And if you don't have a TV, you don't need the docking capabilities of the Switch. You just need to play something on the couch, on the go, whatever it is. The Nintendo Switch Lite is, I think a little bit cheaper, about like 100 or $150 cheaper. It's a bit smaller, but there is just the main caveat to this one. You cannot play this one on the TV. So think about this. If you are never, ever, ever gonna play on the TV, then this is the one for you. If you might play on the TV just one time, this is not the Switch for you. You will probably regret buying this one because later on you might have a couch, you might have a TV, you really need to think about that. But like I said, everyone's situation is different and maybe this is the perfect model for you. And last but not least, the big boy, the baddest Switch of them all, the Switch OLED. You already know who wants this one. If you're a tech head, if you're someone who likes the latest and the greatest, you have to get this Switch. There's no other Switch for you. You're gonna be spending an extra like 50 to $100, but honestly, you will not regret it. This is the one that you want. This is the one you're gonna think about if you buy the wrong version and you're gonna end up paying double the price because you'll probably sell the old one to get this one. Just think about that. If you're a tech head, this is for you. I don't believe this impacts anything on the TV, but if you play on the go, you're gonna get a much richer experience. So those are the three Switch models. Just keep that in mind. Think about the one that fits your situation the best and then go ahead and buy that one. Now we can't talk about the Nintendo Switch being seven years old without talking about the performance. And I just need to let you know so you're not surprised when you do buy a Switch and maybe you're having some issues with performance that this thing does not have a revision yet. There is no Switch 2. So the Switch 1 has the same internals from when it first began, which in 2024 might feel a little dated. You might have a lot longer loading times. You might have, you know, 20 frames per second on some games. It just won't have the best experience, especially if you're someone who's used to playing on a PS5, an Xbox, a PC, anything like that. You might have some frustrations with this device, but the trade off is you're going to be having a ton of fun playing a lot of the Nintendo Switch exclusives. Just think about that. Go ahead and do a bit more research. I'm not going to get too much into the weeds about this, but go ahead and watch some more videos from like Digital Foundry about Nintendo Switch performance before you make any sort of huge decision. And it's really not that bad because a lot of these Nintendo Switch games are designed to be played on this device. So a lot of the developers go ahead and zero in on the performance of the Switch to make it the best experience for you anyways. One of the last things I wanna talk about is the rumored Nintendo Switch 2. And for a long time, the Switch 2 was supposed to be coming out this year, next year, maybe the year after that, maybe the year two years ago. And the Switch is still here. This, there is no Switch 2. Maybe Nintendo just sticks with the Switch forever. But honestly, I kind of I kind of doubt that. However, just so you know, there is a rumored Switch 2 potentially coming out next year or the next year. So I don't want you to be surprised if you do buy a Switch and all of a sudden there's a new trailer out announcing the Switch 2. And if that is going to hurt your decision in buying a Switch, I will say hold off. Do not buy a Switch in 2024. If you want to buy a Nintendo Switch 2, just go ahead and start saving up for Nintendo Switch 2 and maybe next year it comes out and you'll already have money set aside to buy it. If it doesn't, well, maybe you could just buy a Steam Deck. Just kidding. Just, I know it's a Nintendo Switch video, but I just need to put that disclaimer out here. The Nintendo Switch 2 could drop maybe any day, maybe never. So really just do your research on that part.
Well, that's kind of all I got today, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you already own a Switch. Are you thinking about buying a Switch? Did you never buy a Switch? I know there's a lot of people who have never bought a Switch. So, in like maybe you're someone who already owns a Switch and you're just waiting for that Switch 2 to drop. I also want to hear from you because, you know, everyone has an opinion out there. Maybe you just bought a Switch because you want to play Zelda, which honestly is a complete valid answer. I will say Animal Crossing was a lot of fun. You know, this video is always going to be helpful for somebody out there. So whatever it is, I want to hear from you. I'm going to go ahead and eat a slice of Zaha. I'll catch you later. Peace.